My name is Julia Hulbert. I'm a director and head of the clinical negligence team at Jackson Lees. The NHS is rightly lauded for the brilliant work that it does, but in the small minority of cases when things go wrong, people often don't know about what to do or who to turn to, particularly at this time of the pandemic. Our message is that if you've suffered harm as a result of negligent care, your right to access to justice hasn't been diminished. When clients approach us, they're often feeling angry or upset because they've suffered harm and they haven't had their concerns addressed by the hospital who treated them. They also emphasise to us that they don't want what happened to them to happen to anyone else. They want to restore the life that they had, to have the finances to cover things like a lost income or to pay for expenses such as for care and rehabilitation. Well, clearly the NHS has been under enormous strain as a result of the pandemic, but that seems to be settling now. Some victims are concerned how they're viewed by society, as some people feel that it's morally wrong to claim against the health service, which is free at the point of use. This isn't helped by some sectors of the media who distort the stories behind the compensation awards and misrepresent the motives of claimants and those who represent them. So it's important that we seek to debunk these perceptions. Where the care took place at an NHS hospital, it's the NHS trust who is the defendant, not the individual doctor or nurse. Also, we do not pursue claims unless there is evidence that the care you received fell below the minimum standard that you as a patient are entitled to expect, and as a result, you have suffered harm. All NHS trusts pay into a scheme specifically designed to cover the cost of claims. It operates a bit like insurance. So where a trust is performing well, it pays less. It's only by holding public authorities like the NHS to account that lessons can be learned and the systems that they're responsible for can be improved. Well, I'd encourage them to telephone us for an informal chat or email us. Alternatively, please go to our website for further information.